Hey guys, if you're watching this, welcome to Jordan Nation. Essentially, uh, you have stumbled across a very interesting YouTube channel of a guy who's attempting an alternative sleep cycle. Um, as I do this, I'm already three days into the, into the cycle. Effectively, it's, um, it's basically instead of you know, six to eight hours or whatever, all at night. It's a series of 20 to 30 minute naps out throughout the day. So specifically four. So I'm doing four 30 minute naps. For my personal schedule, it's going to come out to about six in the morning, 12, six, and then 12. I uh, give or take a few minutes depending on, you know, responsibilities and if I'm able to actually make all of those. Um, that it works out pretty cleanly just from a lunch break perspective and from an after work before the gym perspective. Uh, we'll see what it actually does. Now, right off the bat, everyone's going to be very curious and go, you know, that only sounds like two hours of total sleep. And so the theory is that not all sleep is created equal. It's that, um, you know, sometimes you sleep for eight hours and you're still a little groggy and sometimes you sleep for four hours and you're alert. Uh, there doesn't seem to be perfect rhyme or reason to it. Um, and in my estimation, that's because there's a lot about sleep that we just don't know. Uh, so this is one theory. And yes, I understand that there's potential health risks associated with this. Uh, no one's actually been able to show me, you know, here's a peer reviewed study of a health you know, deficiency that you're going to have 20 years down the road or 10 years down the road or 10 days or anything. No one's really been able to show me that, but I'll give the benefit of the doubt that it's at the very least going against what the overwhelming majority of the population does. And <clears throat> anytime you engage in something like that, you should take a step back and really question it. Um, but uh, the reality is the, the reward is in addition, if you're averaging seven, eight hours of sleep and you drop it down to two, an extra five or six hours a night, you know, times that's 35, 40 hours of additional free time, you know, a week. I'm not just practically speaking, that could be a full time job. And if you had a second full time job, how would that change your life? Um, obviously, that's not everything that I intend to use it for. Um, and everyone's goals are different. And there's some people that just probably don't have 22 hours of things to do and they would be bored out of their mind. Um, I'm at a stage in my life where there's a lot of things I want to accomplish and we'll see if this is a way to, to get there. So this one's probably a little bit more serious in tone, even though I did start by saying welcome to Jordan Nation. So maybe not. <clears throat> but all the videos are going to be a lot shorter than this. And they're going to be one take... No, no script, just like this is done. Um, so join me on my journey and give me advice. Uh, just right off the bat, I'll, I'll tell you a few days in. I've learned a couple lessons. No more than uh, one cup of coffee's worth of caffeine um, per, you know, in between naps. Um, alcohol can get dangerous. The one time I've messed up so far and actually slept for several hours at a time was, you know, a beer and, you know, just not a lot of food and it just, just knocked me out. But I'm um, a little bit more well prepared now. So we'll see if I can do this. Look forward to seeing you. And uh, as always,